Okay, so um, our next Scottish gin is this one, which I'm really looking forward to trying because the bottle is just so beautiful. Rock Rose, and this is from Kate Ness. And um, this heralds a new vintage each year. Um, as local botanicals are dependent on climate and will subtly change year on year. So if you keep it for a few years, it will taste different every year, I guess. Um, and you, you serve this one with orange garnish, which we've got in our glass. So um, let's let's try this one. This is Rock Rose from KFS. I like the pop. That's quite different, that one again, isn't it? It's a bit bitter, I think. Yeah. It's kind of bitter. Like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's still nice, you know, but it's, it's a different from obviously going from the Eden Mill stuff to this. It's like a huge, huge change, but it's still, it's still, it's still nice, yeah, you know. Yeah, I think the ones that are lighter and kind of more fragrant and fruity. I feel this one's a more like a bit spiced, and it's obviously going to be the doctor's pearl as well, but more like a, opposed to the, the what maybe the. Shetland and Ethan Mill, um, maybe like kind of more, not a winter gin, you know, but the kind of spiced and a wee bit of like orange peel and stuff, I think it may be more suited to kind of winter gin, in my opinion, you know, but still. So you're thinking of like sitting by the road and fire in your morning jacket? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 um, yeah, but I think it's quite, it's, it's still nice, but I feel a wee bit of spice and mm. feel the orange peel as well. It's a little bit warm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then again, if we tried it next year, it might taste like a summer gin. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's the beautiful idea. Yeah. 